Welcome everybody. Uh, we got some seats up front if anybody wants to get comfortable and check in up there. So my name is Dan Cahill. I'm the land steward with the city of Burlington. And it's with a lot of joy and excitement that I welcome us all here uh, to celebrate this momentous occasion. Um, so what we're doing here today is celebrating the addition of this parcel into Burlington's cadre of public natural areas. And we're gonna acknowledge a lot of the individuals and the benefactors that have made that possible. Uh, so this is, this is a big deal for us. Um, and of course, at any occasion where it's a big deal, uh, we invite up uh, our mayor, Moreau Weinberger. <laughs> Thank you, Dan. Welcome. Guess I should not have touched it. <clears throat> should I give it another shot here? All right, welcome, welcome again, everyone. Thank you for that introduction, Dan. Thank you all for coming. This is a momentous day. I remember the first time that I came to this property very well. It was with. Dave Hartnett and Rosera Long, and they had a vision of how this beautiful piece of property and large piece of property, 11 acres, could be added to the assemblage that was already starting to take shape. And gosh, that was a, that that trip was a long time ago now, wasn't it, guys? I, it must have been, uh, you know, second term visit, maybe. You know, <laughs> better part, more than six years ago, I think, and. Um, I don't think any of us uh, knew exactly how uh, challenging a journey was going to be to make this all happen, but I'm so grateful to Rosaire and Dave and, um, and Irene and everyone else, and there's a lot of people who have been involved in going from that idea to this getting done um, over those years. This... Um, was only possible uh, because of Elks Lodge number 916 and because of the gift of Irene and Roser, um, as, as well as Elks members and neighbors here in the New North End. It was also only possible with uh, the work of um, many city employees, particularly the Parks, Recreation, and Waterfront team that is so well represented here t today. The, their contributions, Irene and Rosaire's contributions rep to this project exemplify why Burlington is such a special place, special, such a special city to live and to visit. And it is a place that has great public spaces for the whole community to enjoy and benefit from. Thanks to everyone who has worked on this project, today's announcement that this acquisition of the public land will forever protect access from the greenway to the arms forest and adds 11 acres of urban wilderness to the already i don't think i'm even touching it <laughs> should uh the generations to come as Burlington has become again a, a growing city with many people wanting to live here, wanting to make their lives here, having these natural spaces in complement to being a growing city is going to be more important than ever and um, I think really just um, emphasizes how valuable it is that um, all this work got done. I am incredibly grateful to everyone who's played a role in this significant combined effort over the last many years. And I want to again call, call out key partners here. The Department of Parks, Recreation, and Waterfront again, state and federal partners, Friends of Rock Point, the Episcopal Church, the Parks Foundation, local builders, Burlington voters. Um, uh, I believe I saw representatives from the... Chris from the, the Land Trust, thank, thank you for your partnership. Um, uh, the numerous neighbors and community leaders, and of course the dedicated members of the Elks Lodge 9, 916 and the Long family. 
Rosera and Irene, I am proud to stand on behalf of a grateful city to thank you and your fellow members for your commitment to this community and to this beautiful place that we call home. And now I am excited to welcome to the microphone Cindy White, our Director of Parks, Recreation and Waterfront, who has been so committed to this project as well as our other conservation uh, and outdoors efforts. Cindy. All right, thank you. All right, thank you again for joining us um, in this exciting time. It really is an amazing um, addition to our properties. I would say that the average Burlingtonian that goes by, this will in many ways for a while not feel like a change. They don't realize that we now have this public access here, which was private land. So um, thank you so much for everybody for coming. Um, so I just want to talk a little bit about Rosier and Irene Alange. And Rosier, I'm kind of sticking at you a little bit because not only is there a financial commitment they made possible, but guess what? Rosier did all the work. So not only did he say, we are happy to dedicate a check to this, but Rosier said, and here's what you need to do, and here's what I'll do. And he checked in occasionally to make sure I was doing what I needed to do. So Rosier, thank you for making it easy for us to acquire this property. Um, and as everybody knows, um, it's a lot of relationships that Rosaire had that made this possible. Um, he had to convince the Elks members that this was something good to do. And then of course he had to go to the National Elks to let them convince them that give, gifting this land to the city was the right thing to do. Um, beautiful birds flying overhead. It kind of reminds us of how important this meadow habitat is for the city. We have a lot of forested land. But what we don't always have a lot of is this open meadow land. And so the acquisition for the city of this land will help protect it um, for future generations. Um, I also want to recognize the hard work of Dan Cahill. Dan's our city land steward, and he's had this vision a long time. He's had some meetings with the Elks early on to talk about this property, and then continued to have that, the conversations with us about how important it was for us to acquire this land or at a minimum have an easement through it. But we're so happy for the gift again of Rosier and Irene so we could have the acquisition of that property. Um, Dan had the vision. So many of you have heard Arms Park, you've heard Arms Forest. And you might think, what's the interchangeable piece there? Arms Park is what the city owns. Arms Forest is the greater parcel, which includes the uh, high school owns property, Episcopal Diocese owns property, and now the city owns this property. And Dan had that vision to manage that as one property, and we have the permissions from all of those to do that. So when you hear of Arms Forest, it includes multiple properties, uh, property owners managed as one. So Dan, thank you for your commitment, dedication, and not losing hope that we will get here one day. And as um, the mayor noted, this is part of that larger Rock Point Co Coalition. Uh, Crispo gets here from the Lake Champlain Land Trust. He was part of that was a lot of meetings that we had to get there. Kelly was in, uh, the, wasn't in her role at the time, but Kelly's here with Rock Point. Um, the Episcopal Diocese was an integral partner. Um, I mean, I still remember when I, I've been here about six years, but the, um, the fence that was up there um, right on the property um, and part of that Rock Point work, that larger coalition, was a beautiful set of stairs that leads up into the property that really makes it feel like a welcoming space. Um, and then Zoe from the Wildways, we look forward to the day when the Wildways Trail comes through here uh, and connects to, uh, to Rock Point. Um, let me make sure I didn't miss anybody on that one. Um, I think we got, and I don't know if you have anybody here from the Parks Foundation, but that was a, a lot of work with John Bossange, was a leader of that work. Um, and just a key, uh, acknowledgement to John um, with all that work with the Rock Point. And we called this uh, Rock Point East, and that was Rock Point West when we were having our meetings and very carefully talking about our budgets. Um, and so Rock Point West uh, was ahead of us. They were quite ahead of us, but patient for Rock Point East, otherwise known as Arms Force, to catch up. But we're here today catching up. And we look forward to uh, improving an access through here so everybody can walk, bike, or roll into the property and while it's an amazingly rare ecological special species here we also want to ensure that our that people can get to access to them there's sarah meiskin sarah is with the parks foundation sarah was one of those great folks that behind the scenes trying to convince people to um, open up their checks to help with that project so we we're just uh, acknowledging that effort um all right we hit most of these things here um so again we will over the next year to improve that access 
And in conclusion today, I just want to celebrate, you know, just again, thinking about this celebration of this acquisition. Um, Roser and Irene, thank you so much for your generosity to the city of Burlington. And we will take good care of this property and for your future generations to be able to come onto this and enjoy and celebrate um, all that we have here today. I'm going to now pass it over to Roser, um, and if you could share a few words with us. You get a hug along the way. <laughs> it's important to warm up. <laughs> Well, I may stutter a little bit because I'm not, because I'm already shivering. So <laughs> I, I hope I hope we won't hold you too long. Uh, uh, it's been a long road since about uh, two. I think it was around 2017 when we first started uh, getting involved with this. Uh, I just want to fill in the gap a little bit of how important this land is. Uh, the, it isn't just the meadow you see in front of you. It's the woods that go along this ravine all the way up to almost to the back of the Elks. And it is, it is original woods. So there are trees back there that it would take three of us with our arms around it to be able to surround it. So there's plants, endangered species plants that are growing in there that the park department has marked out so that the people on trails don't stomp on them. Uh, there's a lot of good to this land that really needed to be conserved. So it's an important piece uh, to, to the world, let's say. So that's why we're very happy to have participated. Uh, I have to give a lot of credit to the Elks members because it was a long, difficult task to get it passed. Nobody wants to give up land. Uh, because years back it used to be used. Elks would have uh, picnics down here, families would have picnics. I can remember when I was chair of our 20th high school class reunion, I had a picnic here with all the families on Sunday after the banquet on Saturday. So there's a lot of memory that goes back to this. Having been an elk for 59 years and also having worked for the city, my wife and I, in combination, about 75 years, we have a great appreciation to both the Elks and to the city. The city provided us a very decent living all this time. So that's part of the mo motivation that uh, drove us to contribute to be able to get this land donated by the Elks to the city by our making a contribution to the Elks. So that's how it came about. And we're very, very happy to, and very proud to have participated in it. We thank you all for being here. Thank you. Next up is uh, Dave Hartnett. Thank you. Good morning. Well, as Moreau said, it's been a long haul. But simply put, we're here for really a little louder, Rosaire. We have very two special people in our community, Irene and Rosaire Lange. Rosaire contacted me four or five years ago and said, I'd like to meet with you, I'd like to run something by you. And uh, prior to that, the city had approached the club about the property and it, it really didn't go anywhere. And So when I met with Rosaire, he proposed this. He said, I, Irene and I would like to purchase the property from the Elks and, and gift it to the city. And I remember saying, I said, Rosera, that's very generous. You know, it's, you don't have to do that. And he was like, oh, no, we want to do that. We, we, we feel very fortunate. Burlington has been very good to us. 75 years of service to the city they've given, right? And now this is their way to give back. And I tell people all the time, I find myself defending Burlington. You know, you hear people say it's not the same. Well, uh, I disagree. Burlington's a special place to live. And when you think about it, there is a park within walking distance of every family, apartment, business there is in the city. And that is really something special. And when you think about how that whole operation takes place, and you think about those guys in the green trucks, and some of them are here today, Richie Snow and others, that day in and day out go and they work on these parks and they keep them clean and beautiful and safe for us. 
it is a community effort uh, like none I've ever seen before in the Parks Department. It just does an incredible job, and we're very fortunate for those guys in the green trucks. I've been a member for the Elks for nearly 20 years. I served as a trustee, and I was the uh, chair of the trustees up until this past summer when, unfortunately, I had to step away. I, I didn't want to, but it, it, there was a you know, family uh, emergency, and it was, it was time for me to step away and spend some time with my family. Uh, but the Elks mission, and they have a lot of great missions, you know, Silver Towers and veterans, and there's a, there's a, there's a ton of them. But there is also about giving back to the community. And the Elks feel strongly about that. And in the last five years that I've been on the trustees, we have made a huge effort to partner with the city of Burlington. Whether it was with the public schools and allowing them to use our spaces, whether the organization like Hands coming in and helping them with their dinners and the food drive. So the Elks over the last five years has made a huge effort to partner with the city. This is one step. I look forward to many more. I hope to get back involved with them right to continue that hard work because i think it's important the elks is a great neighbor for the city of burlington i would like to introduce uh, bob campbell who's here from the district deputy i'm sure i won't get all the titles right and i know he has more but he was instrumental in getting this passed all right he actually came to the vote that we had at the club and as rose there said it was not easy right but when, when Bob came and addressed the membership that night, I, I think he changed a lot of people's mind. I think, it, I think it was well served that he attended. He's here today, and I'd like Bob to say a few words. Thank you. It definitely is a little chilly today, and I'll be brief. Um, I do, uh, I represent the Grand Lodge of Elks and oversee the lodges in Vermont. And when uh, the Burlington Lodge came to us, with this request and we were more than happy to, to come on board. As Elks community, uh, veterans, youth, that's what we stand for. And that we're here to help our communities all throughout Vermont and throughout the country. I can't say enough about Rosaire and Irene. Thank you so much for bringing this to our attention. We are more than happy to sign off on this and with the help of the Burlington members, help make this a reality for uh, the Burlington community. So we're very pleased to see this move forward. What a great addition to Burlington. Thank you. All right, we're gonna wrap this up here. Everybody's shivering a little bit. So um, again, thank you so much for coming today. Um, in the spring, we'll be having a kiosk up here, right in this location here, that will share the story of the donation from Rosaire and Irene Lange, and then also the story of the Arms Forest, and we'll have a a map of the park so you can know where you're going when you come up here um, for an adventure. But I really encourage you to come, especially in the springtime. The wildflowers are beautiful. As Rosaire noted, there's many miles of trails through the park and we do encourage you to come back. And in the winter, it's also a great place to ski and snowshoe and uh, wear windbreakers because it's always windy. <laughs> so again, thanks so much everybody for coming. And Rosaire and Irene, thank you so much. Um, I'm Zoe Richards and I chair the Burlington Conservation Board and this has been a piece of property that's been um, uh, on the minds of the Conservation Board for a long time um, and uh, and we've been really excited that, um, that this has finally happened um, and it allows folks to actually connect into the Greater Arms Forest um, through the bike path so it's been a really critical piece of property so we're very excited that, um, that the acquisition has happened. This add-on to the Arms Park or Arms Forest is pretty awesome too because, pardon me? Your name is? Oh, my name is Kate Cruzy. I'm a New North End neighbor of um, this whole area. Um, and I think this particular meadow is a very special part of the open spaces of Burlington because it's actually still a sand plain with the little blue stem grasses which are reddish colored and you can see some rabbit tobacco which is white colored and so we are able to collect seed from this site to plant in some other sites so we're actually using local 
uh, genetics, which is a pretty amazing thing to do in this day and age. Burlington's a pretty amazing city with these intact natural communities still in place. So that's it. Great addition. Sarah Carpenter, Ward 4 City Councilor and neighborhood of this fabulous project. And I'm just here to thank the Launders and thank the Elks and say how excited we are to have this resource in our neighborhood. We've been using it for years, but now it really belongs to the public. And um, we're just so proud of the Launders family and the Elks and our new access to this. Yeah, and I echo what Sarah said. Uh, so much thanks and gratitude to the uh, to the Longes. Um, you know, and I've been using this uh, property uh, since I was a kid, actually, um, growing up in the New North End. And this acquisition will provide a really important piece of connectivity um, to the Arms Forest, which is sort of landlocked out here. It's a real special piece of property, but it really hasn't had any formal access until now, so we're really, really excited about that.